a few days ago, Vancouver cyclist Andashe Akaven was pulled over by police for not wearing a helmet and for running a red light. Now, say what you will about red light runners. At the end of the day, this is essentially a mere traffic violation. That usually means a ticket and a fine for running a red and uh, for not wearing a bike helmet, as is the law in Nanny State, B.C. But perhaps Vancouver cops are under the gun to make their criminal arrest quota for the month of March because, inexplicably, the two undercover officers who pulled over Akavan actually handcuffed the man for a traffic violation. And as if that isn't bad enough, just check out what happens during the handcuffing process. What is this for? What the hell was that? Ow, man. What the hell was that for? <laughs> Indeed, what the hell was that for? Well, here's the cop's explanation. What the hell was that? Ow, man. What the hell was that for? Oh, that was the wrong clip, folks. But the explanation from the police officer was resisting arrest. Didn't look like a resisting arrest to me. I mean, you know, you saw the cheap shot twice. Now, uh, oh, we have that clip. Here's the officer's explanation. Why did you punch me? Because you was resisting. I did not resist. I was trying to put handcuffs on you. No, And you, was, and you pulled your arm I away. I can't, I don't, I told you I don't not bend to that resist. way. I don't bend that way. No, I don't see much resistance here, folks. Uh, hey, if you want resistance, where the heck were Vancouver's cops when hundreds of Vancouver Canuck fans went on a rampage a few summers ago when their team failed yet again to win the Stanley Cup? The cops that day just stood around like so many statues as anarchy reigned supreme. Well, I guess they didn't want to get their manicures scuffed up. Anyways... What can I say, folks? That is terrible policing, and that officer is our moron of the morning.